With Snagit 9.1, we've made a few changes to the Snagit editor. First off, you might have noticed that Snagit's name looks a little different. We've taken the big eye and made it into a little eye. Apparently a bunch of people kept asking where to find Snaggle T, so maybe this won't be as confusing. But of course, that's not all. Snagit Editor now has a mini toolbar for improved editing, in-place text editing, better organization of stamps, and live preview so you can see what you get before you change things. So let's take a look at these. First off, the mini toolbar is something you might be familiar with if you use Microsoft Office 2007. If you draw something on your capture, for example an arrow, you'll see a new floating toolbar appear. The mini toolbar lets you completely customize the object you're working with. You also have access to all the styles in the style gallery. And what's nice is you can force the mini toolbar to appear by just clicking on the object. That means you can be on any tab in the editor and quickly make changes to your objects. The mini toolbar works with most of the drawing tools, like lines, shapes, and the highlighter. And that brings us to the next new editor feature, in-place text editing. If I select the callout tool and draw my callout on the capture, I can just start typing inside the callout. To edit the text, just highlight the text you want to change and a mini toolbar appears. To edit the callout, Click on the callout itself, and a separate mini toolbar appears. Well, while we're here, let's look at the changes made in the Stamps Gallery. When you open the Stamps Gallery, you'll notice there are categories listed on the left-hand side. These categories make it a lot easier to navigate through large collections of stamps. Just click the category you need and click the stamp. Then, just click your capture to add the stamp to your capture. So the last thing we'll look at is Live Preview. If we go to the Image tab, we can kind of see how this works. If I hover my mouse over any of the edge effects, you can see that the capture changes. This isn't a permanent change, this is just a preview of what the capture would look like. If I take my mouse off the effect, you can see the capture goes back to the way it was. This feature works with a lot of editor tools, like Trim, Rotate, and many of the image modifiers, so give it a try with everything. Well, those are the major changes in Snagit 9.1. Hope this video helps, and we'll see you next time.